FEMA's deputy director was on the ground today in Griffin to assess damage here in Georgia following last week's deadly tornadoes. Director Eric Hook spoke about the recovery efforts there now that President Joe Biden has declared the area a major disaster. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter has more. The deputy director stressed that this is going to be a very long road to recovery, but that FEMA officials are here to help. We are working hand in hand to ensure that everyone that's impacted by this disaster can access the resources they need to turn the page from the disaster to restoring some sense of normalcy and leading to their recovery. Eric Cook's visit comes after President Joe Biden officially declared several parts of Georgia major disaster areas, opening up federal funding to those impacted. While it's been almost a week since the storms blew through here, people tell me the need is still so great for so many and that federal assistance is critical. I don't want that much. I'm taking it to somebody. All right. All right. I know what she like to eat, so I'm not going to. It's always good to look out for the ones who are in need, especially the ones that can't really get here. So, you know, things I don't I don't really need, but I'm out here getting it before I can take it to somebody else. Abbas Wilkinson, whose home was badly damaged, said she came to the city's donation center to gather supplies, not for herself, but for others. I got so much water, I, I distributed out to people who was in need with the water. Abbas's attitude is similar to so many in Griffin, sharing what little they do have. I'm just going to load you up here, okay? Because they say Griffin is like a family. Check on your neighbor and let them know that you're still there for them. That would really matter. In Griffin, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News. People who live in the seven local counties impacted by last week's tornadoes and storms can now directly request help from FEMA. There are three ways you can apply. You can do that online using FEMA's website, the FEMA mobile app, or by calling the number that's right there on your screen. The helpline is open between 7 a.m. and 11 p.m., and people are there to help in most languages. In the application, you'll be asked a series of questions about the damage caused to your property, other details like your social security number and banking information is needed as well. A spokesperson at FEMA says the agency will move as quickly as possible with each application to help people get the help that they need. For more information on what you need to apply, just look for this story on 11alive.com.